going on everybody it's your boy Mike so um update on the truck man I picked up my load today dispatch got me a load that was picking up like five minutes from my house uh, when it picked it up no issues got loaded uh, went to the truck stop weighed the load um, we good on our way to tandems all the way to the front um, start leaving up out of town and the truck starts shaking and I'm talking about like just like shaking like he was having a seizure or some shit so now we got a good old another check engine light so y'all remember i sent y'all i had um recorded when i picked the truck up there was no check engine light now we got another check engine light uh, oh excuse me so when i called vl told him hey well i told him what was going on asked him to read the codes to me they said i got two fault codes so um it says something like exhaust something it's either something with the egr if i'm not mistaken i don't remember the correct term or what it was but um yeah so truck is going back to the shop once i deliver this load so pick up this load heading to kansas hopefully i can get another load from kansas back down to either houston or beaumont or somewhere in between and this truck is going back to the shop and i'm going back home man um this issue with the truck i'm not gonna play i'm not gonna risk being shut stuff stuck out on the side of the road somewhere I'm not trying to be too far from home and then ironically i'm at the same truck stop i was at when um i decided to go ahead and go home let um two fridays ago so when i went home and i was home for a week and a half now it's past time but i came here i took a shower i ate when i told y'all about um utilizing your time you know so um it's ironic how i'm back here and then like i said now we got another check engine or light on there so i have the truck idled up and the truck it starts shaking man and it's, it's, it's just weird it creeps me out a little bit but um this is the issue i was having when i had um told the freight line of the issue i was having the dude was just like okay you got a check engine light you're derated blah 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 and i was like no that's not the issue um you're going to try to sit here and tell me that the knock sensor is causing my issue when i know it isn't so um one thing we, you pretty much got to realize is you're going to have mechanics that are um parts installers then you're gonna have technicians that's actually gonna try to diagnose your truck i want to see if y'all can tell my phone is shaking and i'm shaking too so like every what would that be like every 30 to 45 seconds the truck would just shake a little bit it's doing it again you can tell so um, it does it while you're driving it mostly does it when the engine is idled up so when i um relieve the engine of being idled up it doesn't do it you know it can idle all, all day from what i can tell at this but once you uh, idle it up you know it does its own thing it starts shaking and stuff so yep that's the update on the truck like i said it is going back in the shop i already called freight liner and told him i'm coming and um i'm going back home after i like i said i'll to deliver this load so with me also picking up this load um, I could possibly make it there tonight. Uh, we'll just we're just gonna play it by ear. I'm about five. I'm about six hours away now, and I got seven hours left on my clock. So um, you know we're gonna see what it do. Um, we might just drive until about eleven o'clock tonight, then shut it down to where I should be about an hour away, and then um, you know run 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 the rest of the way, get to my delivery around ten thirty to eleven o'clock in the morning. And hopefully you get this paperwork signed to where I have it scanned in before noon. So once that's done, um, this load is a 500 mile run, um, $2,100. And um, noon is the last day of the pay period tomorrow. So off for a week and a half and still be able to clear $1,000 or bring in $1,000 after um, truck note and VL get their cut. So yep, that's the plan. That's what we got going on. So yeah, we're going to run this load. Um, I could have turned back around and just sat this load on the um, Freightliner drop lot. I didn't want to do that. Um, you know, let me just try to go ahead and I don't like to be in the in the hold or in the negative. It hasn't happened yet, and I, I don't want I don't want to start because that just seems like that's something that's hard to get out of. Even though here at VL, man, it's just so easy to make money. Um, I mean, it, you should not be in the hold at all. Truck is shaking and stuff again. Uh, you should not be in a hold here at VL, man. If you're managing your money right, you're running your clock right, and you're actually hauling profitable loads, you should not be in a hold. So that's my update for you guys on the truck. Like I said, the last video of the truck is fixed. It's not fixed. All you did was replace a knock sensor, charge me $1,500 fucking dollars, and then tell me here. 
go, going about your business when that wasn't even the issue. But I mean, hey, listen, listen to them. They, they they know better than us. You know, they they work on trucks all day, but we just sit here and drive them. You know, stare out the window and don't even know what the hell's going on with it. So it is what it is. Hey, I appreciate you guys for watching. Like the video if you like it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll catch you guys in another.